gland. Let's just take another topic here. Um, okay. Gang stalking, uh, electronic harassment, and, um, y- you know, and social control. Okay. What we've had the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years has been this deception. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's been this secret world of gang stalking, a secret world of surveillance, a secret world of, you know, almost like a Stasi police force in the background somewhere, you know, in a, in a, but they're not affiliated with any, you know, they're just people that are, they're used to keep an eye on others or to shame them, people, political groups they don't like. Uh, also, there have been groups of people used for experimentation and uh, to the use of psychotronic weapons and 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 satellite weapons and things like that and they get these groups and then there's other other forms where people are 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 kind of intimidated okay that's like a political intimidation but they they can never find out what they did wrong to get on a list or you know how they became targeted what happened and all that okay right now the atmosphere that we're in if that's okay that if that's you out there the atmosphere that we're in now is the best chance we have ever had because we've always had this kind of thing, social shaming, bullying, mm-hmm. cause stalking. It's been going on for thousands of years. It's a spiritual issue, by the way. It's the people, you know, they, it's like I, it, there's an inter, interdimensional component to it, too, which is very frightening because it makes it look like they're all, you know, um, robots. At, then all of a sudden they're back to, you know, like they're all being controlled by one central force or one central brain. Okay, all that, if you've been afflicted at impossible things, they know things about you they couldn't know, they pop up at your local store, they frighten you, you go home, you can't believe it, it's so bizarre, and you hide, and then pretty soon you become a shut-in, you know, after enough conditioning like that. And then and I tell people that's really spiritual warfare, they're trying to sideline you because you're not in their club, you're not in, you're not conformed to society the way they want you conformed to society, so you end up getting targeted, and sometimes it'll be, sometimes it's racial, it could be just a racial group, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of that that goes on too, it's just, or it could be a political class, like right now people that are targeted, I happen to be um, in the, you know, libertarian, conservative classes are more and more targeted, white people, you know, being targeted, uh, for being white, you know, the PC police, it all ties into bullying and stalking and, and all of that. And it looks like it's ramping up on the one hand, but the way I'm looking at it is, uh, to me, it's all falling apart because mm-hmm. they had a top-down organizational control over it. And they, had, they had a kind of a, a rhyme and reason for how they would go about it. And now it looks like they're just scattered to the four winds. And, and, and they're, right now, it's, uh, there's like some running room for people where, you know, you, are, you're, you have to admit, I had someone tell me the other day, and I, I don't know, you know who you are out there. <clears throat> you were saying you were having a great day, and you were wondering what was wrong. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know it, this, that's absolutely true, is that, that because already the frequency shifts are changing and, and things are moving forward and, and light is, is already like, you know, just – streaming through in, in all these different spots right. where we have space now, even, even, okay, even take the political cycle. Well, because the, the enemy is putting so much resource on trying to keep control there and they, 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 they have limitations. See, that's the thing about Satan's system. Satan's system has limitation and, and, and throughout. And so he has a limited set of resource that he can work with. He's got a zero sum game that he, he tries to wrap people up into. And unless he can, actually siphon off life from the children of god he's got nothing nothing to to offer right because yeah because he can't get blood from a stone so it's got to be he's got to get people to consent over here and then take take their energy to give it to other people over there that have been good little boys and girls in in the satanic kingdom and then and then tell those people that he took it from they're gonna have to build themselves up by doing bad deeds and then they'll get a pop too one day. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, and so it goes around like that. There's only so much energy that could be spread around, only so much money that could be spread around. So the beautiful thing that's going on today, this is the great thing, even if it winds up into total chaos and, you know, it's, there's harm done. <clears throat> even still, this situation of the zero sum game has 
technically come to an end because uh, they're all out of um, resources, as Govinda just said. And there, there isn't any way to, for, for example, um, in the in the old way, you know, they would they would lead people to the dark side, and then you know they would entice them with, you know, gifts and 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 powers and things like that to to get their obedience and their consent, and then they would have them, you know, and the the people would cooperate because they were getting something out of it. They were getting. They felt that it was tied to a career path, let's say, or it's tied to some way of self-sustaining. Now that's all out the window. Nobody believes in that anymore. And um, no, but there is no system to sell out into anymore. There is no real benefit anymore. It's every man for himself, whether you're, and if you're on that side, there's, there's, there's no trinkets to give you. There's nothing to give you. There's no trough to feed at. You're just, you're just, you, you might as well not sell your soul. See what I mean? So that we've never had that before in my lifetime. It's always been raising the children to then, you know, conform to Satanism in the guise of society. And, you know, you never say that Satan exists or anything. That's, that's not the way it works. It's more like, um, you know, here's the way of the world. And, you know, here's what you have to do. Sonny boy, conform into it. And everything's going to be fine. And, um, you know, the sunny boy gets conformed into it and then he realizes, oh, that leads to the right fraternity. That leads to the right uh, a job offer. It leads to the right girl. It leads to the right 2.5 cars. And they become, you know, ultimately <laughs> society's robots. Uh, and then eventually they wake up and they realize when they're old uh, that Satan is not doing them any favors anymore because old people are not really welcome in that in that situation or nor are people with handicaps, nor are people with low IQs or like the people with, with autism. There's certain, you know, people that for whatever reason, they're different. They are never allowed in that system. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so they become the, 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 the lambs, they become targeted because uh, these people uh, cannot live. Once you've given up that, what, which makes you human, that which makes you have energy, okay? You need to get your energy from other people. And it's an energy exchange that goes on. And uh, so the, the, the lambs, if you will, and the, the misfits, the, the whatever, they become targets for um, siphoning off energy so that the, the, the body of Satan can live. Remember, when, when you go over there, you become a parasite. You're not really the original, you're, you're, the, you're the dead, and they, they pride themselves. They, they call themselves the dead. And they, they like that. that, that, call, that the, we're cool. We're the dead. But the dead have to prey upon the living in order to live. So there's been this war all these thousands and thousands of years b based on that, that axiomatic uh, condition, that sort of you know, axiomatic to life on earth has been this system. And they say, Do you, well, you can either join this and have a little fun or resist and, uh, you know, life will be miserable. It's your choice. I think that uh, more and more people are realizing that it's, it's anti-human. It's anti-life. And, you know, choosing instead to have their eyes open and be pro-life, you know, f f to push reality. To be alive. Yeah, to, to be alive, alive rather than dead. Yeah, to be alive rather than dead. Because once you're dead, though, you have to then, what, what is the vampire? Vampire is, a, is, a, is an allegory of, uh, you know, all these sci-fi movies and horror movies, lots of them are allegories trying to explain the situation. So they have to feed, as Govinda just said. They have to feed. And who do they feed on? They have to feed on the living. They can't. They don't feed on each other because it's, they're not going to get much out of that because they're already dead. And so we've we've been living for thousands of years with a system. Suddenly, what I'm seeing this is the point of bringing it up again for the umpteen millionth time. Well, we bring it up because people then get informed, right? It helps them to understand. But then the next thing is this. This is what's exciting. This is what's just key to the whole thing. That system is technically at this point obsolete. I agree. Okay, technically, and it's been exposed for what it is massively around the world. The mirror, if you will, because they exist behind a mirror that you can't see. It all looks like a normal world, but it's all smoke and mirrors to you unless you're...